lower bedding, and we're going to be determining um, if quadrilaterals are trapezoids today, and also if they're trapezoids, we'll determine if they are isosceles trapezoids. Um, so, good number one, um, we need to find the slopes of all the sides AB, BC, CD, and AD. Slope of AB is zero. Slope of BC is negative three over one. Slope of CD is zero. Slope of AD is negative three over three. Okay, and so what we have, we have exactly one pair of parallel sides, so this is a trapezoid. Now, <clears throat> this is not isosceles trapezoid because the slopes of the other two sides, negative three over one, negative three over three, um, those are completely different slopes. Um, so that tells us it's just a regular trapezoid. Number two, let's find our slopes again. We've got AB, BC, CD, and AD. Slope of AB is zero. Slope of BC is six over one. Slope of CD is zero. Slope of AD is six over negative one. Now, one pair of parallel sides is a trapezoid. Now look at the other two sides, BC and AD. The slope would be up six right one, the slope would be up six left one. Um, those two slopes are going in opposite directions, they are opposites, but the slope value is the same. That tells us it is an isosceles trapezoid. Remember, isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid in which the non-parallel sides are exactly the same. However, their slopes aren't the same. They're just opposites. Let's look at number three, A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, D. Okay, if the slope of A, B is one over negative four. The slope of B, C is six over one. Slope of C, D, negative one over four. Slope of A, D, six over one. Okay, so we have, uh, looks like both pairs of parallel sides are congruent. Um, that would make it not a trapezoid, it's just simply a parallelogram. Okay, for number four, vertices of an isosceles trapezoid are uh, R is negative 2, 2, S is 2, 2, T is 4, negative 1, U is negative 4, negative 1. Verify that the diagonals are congruent. The diagonals would be RT and SU. And if we apply the distance formula for both of them, RT has a distance of square root of 45. SU has the square distance of square root of 45 as well. Remember the distance formula. Difference of the X is squared, difference of the Y squared. Both of these come out the same. So yes, they are in fact uh, congruent, making a nice isosceles trapezoid.